Hello and welcome to Knitting from the Mitten. My name is Tiffany. I'm coming to you from Midland, Michigan, also known as the Mitten State. You can find me on Ravelry and Periscope as Tiff Grimm's Dogs and on Instagram as Knitting from the Mitten. And we also have a Ravelry group called Knitting from the Mitten Podcast. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you coming to check out my podcast. Um, if you are a new viewer, thank you for checking me out. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Um, first up this week are my whips. I have no finished objects. Sad. I'm very close though. So that makes me feel better. <laughs> but um, I actually unearthed my blueberry waffle socks. So I was very happy to do that. And I really have been trucking on these this week. Um, the heel is where I was before. You can see by my little dachshund charm. And so that's where I was at and now I got all of this done. I just started working on this the last couple days. I just got the bug to work on them and finish them. And so I've been going with it. When I get the bug to work on something, that's what I work on. <laughs> I don't question it. <laughs> and um, so I'm really happy to get these. I was worried I was going to fall into second sock syndrome with these. But because um, I started them the beginning of May, I started them on my anniversary. And uh, so I'm very, very happy that I'm almost done with these. However, a little nervous about some yarn chicken. That's what I'm nervous about. I still have quite a bit to go on. I mean not a, quite a bit like two two or three inches I think um to go on here before the toe and this is all I have though it's kind of all over the place but this is what I have left not a lot <laughs> so we'll see I have this little teeny bit left from the last sock and I figure between the two of them I should be able to at least finish the sock the only bummer is I really wanted to put this into my cozy memories blanket, um, but I figure, you know, if at least I have enough to finish the sock, I'll just go buy another skein from Michaels and, you know, put that in my blanket and then use the rest of it for minis or something, you know, for mini skein swaps. So, uh, oh, and that pattern is by Sandy Turner, and it's a free pattern. I pretty much use the the pattern repeats for how to do the um, how to do the socks and I pretty much did my own heels cuffs and toes as far as that goes and so it's very modifiable you can and I think actually the original pattern is written for a DK weight and this is a fingering weight so like I said it's very modifiable I think that's what a lot of people do they just you know use the pattern as itself the texture pattern and um, so yeah I think those should be done by next week and I'm using um, Hiya Hiya Sharp, size 1, 2.25 millimeters, and I love those, love those needles. I kind of want to get a bunch more just to have them so I can use them on all my socks. Okay, and the next one is my Spring Dream socks, and this is in the little bag that I made last week, a little Paris bag, my little interior from my dress. I really like this bag a lot. <laughs> And so this is the yarn. It's um, Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns from here in Midland. And it's a self-striping. And this is on uh, her tough sock base, I believe. I believe this is a tough sock. Um, I can't remember if that's the name of it. But I'll double check and I'll put it in the notes. And so not very far on this. I just started working on these again. Um, so this is where I was at. My little charm is. It, whoop, yep, so I just worked just a teeny little bit on these. I'm into the stockinette now, so it's easier to just kind of pick up and go. Um, but I'm loving this. The self-striping is so much fun. It's a blast. <laughs> Who knew that just, you know, putting the colors into stripes would make it that big of a difference and make it that much more fun to work on. Um, oh, and that was a twisted rib that I'm doing, a one-by-one one twisted rib. And I think what I'm going to do for my heels because I don't I didn't think I had enough for cuffs and toes and everything but I've got um a little bit of leftovers of Knit Pick Stroll and this really pretty yellow so I think that would be 
I think that would be really pretty together. I think they go really well. So I hope there's enough. We'll see. We shall see. And that's easy to get a hold of if, you know, if I do run out. Or I can just use, you know, um, or I can just use the yarn for the heels. I've heard that if you um, take the yarn from the other side of the cake that you're using, that it doesn't mess up your stripes. So if I don't have enough of the yellow, that's actually probably what I'll do. And so, yeah. Um, next up is my Tulsi Socks by The Wool Club. And I didn't get super far on this this week, but I still enjoyed it nonetheless. I got my little marker in there. Oh yeah, I only did about four rows, four rows on this this week. Oh, and this is in my little bobbins project bag. And so, yeah, there's my marker and it's just about four rows like I said but I just think the way that pattern knits up is so neat so fun Benny likes it too don't you Benny <laughs> oh poor Benny I always make him come up here because it's just he's so cute and he's so you know just a lazy lab just wants to hang out and just be near you <laughs> Oh, and this is the, I showed this before, but I haven't talked about it recently. This is a little, um, little DPN case that, um, Linda, she was my swap partner for a mini skein swap. She made this for me and I just loved it. She did not have to send me this and she just included it as a little freebie. And, um, she's just such a sweetheart. So thank you again, Linda. And let's see. Oop. Um, oh, my Madewell cardigan is next. Okay, so this is in my Christmas bag. My official, unofficial Christmas in July project. <laughs> okay, so last week I was um, talking about how worried I was about how this was going to turn out with my gauge and everything and I was just having a heck of a time trying to figure out what to do. So uh, what I ended up doing is I just kept going. I was like I'm just gonna see how this goes and I'm actually really 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 happy with it. I guess it's supposed to be a little bit drapey which makes sense you know it's a cardigan and so I stopped you know trying to overthink it and I just like I'm just gonna go with it because I did get the right gauge so um, I'm just going with it so uh, hopefully Keep your fingers crossed that it does work out the way it's supposed to, but I am so happy with how the yarn looks. Oh, it's kind of hard to see it, but um, it's just really, really neat when you alternate the skeins like that. It just has a really cool tonality to it. And so these are the two skeins again right here. So you can see the one's lighter than the other. And yeah, I'm loving how it looks when you alternate them like that. It's just it takes the headache out of, you know, getting that big stripe that you would get when you switch, you know, when you switch skeins. So, and I just carry it up the side. That's all I do. I'm not going to weave in a million and one ends. Um, but that seems to be working out really well. So very happy. I'm using um, Knit Picks uh, Sunstruck Needles. And I believe it's a size four is what the pattern calls for. Yeah, size US four. So very happy with those. I think I have come to terms with the fact that I really, really um, like the, the nickel plated ones better. And I think eventually I'd like to switch all my needles over to, um, over to metal. I think it's just a preference. I don't think it's anything wrong with nitpicks at all. Um, and I'm sure maybe on different yarns it might work well. So obviously I'm not going to get rid of them or anything. I'll just have them as, you know, backups. Um, but I think I'm going to switch to, to all nickel, <laughs> or at least all metal. Um, so, oh, next is my Cozy Memories blanket. And I am so excited because I um, came up with a neat idea 
for my other project bag that I had. This little one that I made that, how I said last week, that it turned out quite a bit smaller than this one. And they were the same exact pattern. Um, I said last week, I'm pretty sure that my uh, seam allowance was off a little bit when I was sewing. So, but it, this is the perfect size to hold my mini skeins for my Cozy Memories blanket. So I've got them in there. I don't think you can see them, but they're a little jumbled up right now. But um, I was so excited when I realized that. I was like, oh, because they were just in a, you know, in a Ziploc before. And now they're in a pretty little bag. So, okay. I updated my journal, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I squared off my blanket. Oh, I'm so happy. I love how it looks. It just makes me happy. <laughs> but I think now that I've squared it off, I want to get going on this project. I made a goal for myself at the beginning of the year that I would get 52 squares done. Just, you know, to represent each week. Not that necessarily that I would do one each week, just in case, you know, I got busy. I didn't want to, you know, put that stress on me but um I've decided that I wanted to do 52 squares this year so I'm gonna really really try for that I want to do this I got more than enough time it's only July I think I'll be done with no problem so oh I love it so this is the newest square I, that I finished and I love this color so much my husband even liked this he was like hey, I would totally take some socks out of that color. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And so I looked, because um, I'm an excuse to knit. So I um, went and looked online, and it turns out that um, she's a Canadian dyer, but she doesn't do online anymore, so she only does local. It's like, darn. But there's, um, I found, you know, some other colors that are, you know, it's kind of similar to this, some other indie dyers that kind of did a similar job. And then I also thought that I could even try dyeing it, because um, I've really got the yarn dyeing bug big time. I love it. It's it's what I want to go do right now actually. I'm like want to go do it after um, after I podcast because and I'll talk about this more later but I dyed up um, the yarn for our giveaway but I'm not done with it yet. I want to do some more with it. So um, so yep yeah, that is my Cozy Memories blanket and I'll show you my updated um, journal. I think I showed this in my first or second episode. This is my little leather journal that I'm um, using for my Cozy Memories blanket. My best friend Stephanie got me when we were 19, 18, I think. And um, she got it at uh, Barnes & Noble. I don't, I don't know if they still have them anymore or not, but I just think it's so neat and rustic-y looking. I think it's cool. So... So my updated ones. So the last one I put in was the pink tweed over here. And then this blue one is the Spud and Chloe. And we're not sure on the colorway. Um, and this is the Dragonfly Dye Works, that green one that I just showed you. And then, oh, and then this one I forgot to put in from before. This is the opal um, yarn that my mom had made socks out of, and she gave me the leftovers. So, yeah, so I just put in here, um, I put the color, or the colorway name, the brand, um, or the company. And then I put, um, I put who I got it from, and if I know where they bought it, like, for example, I know where my mom bought that yarn because I was with her that day. So I put um, that it was from a piece of you yarn shop in Bay City, Michigan. Um, but like for this, I just said it was from Linda in Canada, part of the Grocery Girls podcast mini skein swap. So that way I can, you know, look back on this and if I'm ever like, oh, what what yarn is that that I use? You know, when my blanket's done, I can go I can go look it up. So probably my favorite project. I think it is my favorite project. And I love how it's you know just ongoing. I think that's really cool and I, it's probably not going to be done for a long time but I like that um oh on the spice market shawl what's next putting in my patents bag from my aunt and I got a little bit of work done I feel like I got a little bit done on everything this week which I was really really happy about and I got more ends, oop, I got more ends to weave in again, but. 
so my that blue marker right there is where I was at last week so yay it's coming along so fun to see the gradients work up because when I looked at them in the skeins and side by side it to me I didn't see a huge difference it was kind of hard to tell and it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of hard to tell in the camera here too but in real life you can really see a difference just by putting that gray stripe there and it's so cool because it's just a slight um, gradient to it so I love it I'm really really enjoying this this is um, by Melanie Berg and um, the yarn I'm using is Cascade um, this is Cascade Heritage Solids in a gray colorway I don't remember the number I put it in the show notes from before and then um, Here's one of the, one of the little minis, um, and that is from Miss Babs, and that's the Yummy Two Ply Base. And um, that also leads us um, to go into Cal News. So I will pause this and start up with Cal News in just a minute. Okay, so that worked out well because right after I paused it, I had a nice little coughing jag. So that was really good timing. <laughs> so for our knit along, the Connecting Continents knit along that I am co-hosting with Catherine of the Lou Cookie Knits podcast. Go check her out if you have not. She is very lovely. And um, we are both hosting this knit along. It is um, going from July 1st to September 30th and I wanted to mention that last week I had misspoke and said that it ends August 30th and so it actually does end September 30th and um, someone in the thread had mentioned that and I'm thankful that they did because I completely missed it never saw an editing completely right over my head so um, it it does end September 30th and I do have that info in the thread and I do have it um, on the little banner that Catherine made for us for our group um, that says all the information about the knit along. Um, so that is correct, not me. So if I say it wrong, don't listen to me. <laughs> um, and I wanted to um, explain what the knit along is in case this is your first time joining. It is where you take a pattern and a yarn and one is from one country and one is from another country. One can be from your own country if you'd like and one can be from another country that maybe you like or just a, a designer that you like. For example, my On the Spice Market shawl is yarn that is both from the United States and the designer Melanie Berg is from Germany. So, and that actually works out well for me because Germany is a place that I got to visit um, when I was in high school for five weeks. So I, um, I took German for about five years and um, I'm really, really out of practice with it. So I need to brush up on it, but um, it is something that I, I really enjoy, the German language. So I thought that kind of worked out well with my project. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I also wanted to note that um, there are six finished objects. I don't think I said that. I just started talking about this um, and I had to stop because I had left the air conditioner on and couldn't hear very well. So I don't think I mentioned this already. If I did, I'll cut it out. So um, we have six finished objects and I was so excited to see that in the thread that um, we have six finished objects. Somebody also has finished two of them that are in there. So I thought that was so cool that you guys are um, doing fantastic and I'm so excited that um, people are joining in on the knit along, especially for my first knit along. You know, it's just, it's very exciting to see that, you know, we're building a little community in our group. So it makes me very happy. And let's see. So um, for the prizes for the giveaway, um, Catherine will be having separate prizes in her group and I'll be having separate prizes in my group. You are eligible to post in both groups for the finished objects. So you have a double chance to win. And we will both be having um, hand dyed yarn in our group. I will be dyeing some and she will be dyeing some. And I actually started on it last night. And like I said earlier, it's not ready yet, but um, I gotta go back, go back and work on it some more. But uh, maybe next week I'll be able to show you the finished product for that. Um, and then there will be a Tulsi socks giveaway, which are those purple socks that I was working on by the Wool Club. She generally, generously donated a pattern for us to give away very excited for me to give away I guess to you guys 
and then I'm working on something. It's not quite done yet, but I will show it anyways because it's just kind of fun. Um, I made a project bag, and this will be a drawstring one, so I just got to add the drawstring there. But it's this really sweet little birdie fabric, and it's just got this pink polka dots up here and um, like a robin's egg blue on the inside. And then I'm just going to search for some um, ribbon. I've got a big old stash of ribbon from when I make um, dog bows at work. <laughs> and uh, so I've got quite a few of those. I think I've got something that'll match this um, pretty well for the drawstring. And it is interfaced, so it does stand up. And um, it's just interfaced down here in the bird part so that you can still close this fairly easily. And yeah, this is my first time um, making a drawstring bag and um, i am got a little bit of a mess up right here it's just a little puckered but you know none of it none of it not too bad and um, yeah I followed a, a pattern that I found on Pinterest and really enjoyed it I am really enjoying sewing really I think after getting that um, that bag that I did last week once I got that done and it worked out the way I wanted it to and it you know, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Um, it was, it was a lot of fun, and I've really gotten the bug with that as well. So, so between, you know, knitting and yarn dyeing and and sewing, I'm, I got a lot on my plate, and it's fun. <laughs> I really enjoy it. So, I really, really do want to open an Etsy shop. I, this is something I've been wanting to do. I just didn't really know where to start, and, I think. I'd really like to put something in an Etsy shop by the end of summer. I think that would be a really cool goal, even if it's just one thing, you know, that I list. And even if nobody buys it, I can at least say that I've posted it. <laughs> I am, um, I'm going to be taking some classes in the fall at the college, community college here, and um, on um, like small business entrepreneurship. So that way I can at least you know, know how to do it, if I'm going to do it, you know, do it right. But for now, it would just be something, you know, kind of on the side. I would still be working as a dog groomer. And um, that would be my, you know, primary job. But this would be something kind of on the side, you know, to do for fun. So I'll keep you guys posted on that whenever that, whenever that happens. And um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm working on the yarn dyeing for the prize. And um, I can't wait to show you guys. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. And oh, I just want to buy more dye and more plain yarn, <laughs> berry yarn to, to play with. So I don't have any now that I've dyed those up. Um, that's all I've got. So I got to kind of see about look, looking to trying out some different bases and see what I can find. So that is um, all I have for you guys this week. I hope that once again you guys are happy and healthy and enjoying yourselves and relaxing doing some fun summer stuff and getting out there and oh yeah I want to go kayaking that's what I really really want to do as far as fun summer stuff goes <laughs> but I don't have a kayak <laughs> but maybe we'll go rent one but all right I hope you guys um, have a good week and I will talk to you later bye bye